أَقْصِدِ الصَّلَاةَ إِلَى يَمِينِ الْإِمَامِ This is on the way to the mosque. Many people, and someone asked me today about khushu' in the prayer. Khushu' in the prayer is difficult to attain in this worldly life. But the khushu' doesn't start only in the prayer itself. It starts from your preparation for the prayer. What is your mentality? What is your mindset and your body? If you're going to get in the prayer, just interrupt your work and say Allahu Akbar immediately and pray. Of course, you won't be ready for it. But if you do what Al Imam Ibn Jawzi is describing here, you prepare yourself in wudu at home, getting up, saying the dua that is required or recommended, then you walk to the mosque making the following dua that he mentioned here, then you remember that you're walking for the sake of Allah, you reach the mosque, you do tahiyatul masjid, then you sit, you recite some Quran, then you stand up for the jama'ah, definitely your khushu' will improve. At home, sisters especially, if you're going to pray, just get from the kitchen, put your prayer cover and then pray, it's difficult. You have to have a corner in your home if your home is small or a room in your home if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed you with a big house, a musalla. It's sunnah to have a musalla at home. The Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhum had in their homes musalla. Musalla is a space devoted only to prayer because you don't pray in the same place you watch TV or you don't pray in the same place where you change your clothes. The place of prayer should be protected. It's musalla, protected from worldly things or mundane things. So either a corner or a room, you put in it some scent. Main, you put some perfume. Even sisters at home, you put some perfume. Then you put the mushaf, put mushaf holder there, put a prayer mat. Then you come there, you sit after making proper wudu and saying the dua that is recommended during the wudu, then praying two rak'ahs, sunnatul wudu, then sitting there doing some tasbih, some istighfar. Then, especially with this technology now that we have, you should program your computer to have five adhan in your home declared so that your kids will hear it, everyone at home will listen to it. Then your khushu' will increase because you're coming into a special corner that there will be some awe in that corner. There will be some presence of angels that you would feel in that corner or in that musalla. He continues to say that you stand up on the right hand side of the Imam. The best place is behind the Imam. Next right, next left, then next right, then next left. However, young people should always give priority to elderly people behind the Imam. They are supposed to be of more knowledge, unless a young man is a scholar or a student of the sacred knowledge. Also, one recommendation when you finish your prayer, the fiqh is that you turn left, not right. When you finish your prayer and you want to pray sunnah, let's say you change your position, you turn left, not right, because your left is the right hand side of the Kaaba. And the right hand side of the Kaaba is preferred to your own right hand side. So when you finish your prayer, this is stated in the Hanafi Madhab, in lengthy works, that you turn left. The line behind the Imam should be like a scale from both sides equal if there are more brothers on the right or more people on the right hand side then someone should go to the left hand side until it is like the scale because as I said the best man is the one behind the Imam then the one right the one left the one right then the one left in pairs it goes like this <laughs> 